Tuesday's State of the Union address, which will be the last address by President Trump before the November election. And with Congress strongly divided amid impeachment, One America's Jen Pellegrino explains what we can expect in that speech. On the eve of his impending impeachment acquittal, a senior administration official noted that impeachment is unlikely to make an appearance in the president's State of the Union address, nor did it two decades ago when an impeached President Clinton addressed the nation. Rather, in a theme highlighting relentless optimism and the great American comeback, President Trump will deliver what some may also consider his case for re-election. This optimistic view echoes the sentiment declared three years ago in his first joint address to Congress. I am here tonight to deliver a message of unity and strength, and it is a message deeply delivered from my heart. A new chapter. Of American greatness is now beginning. A new national pride is sweeping across our nation and a new surge of optimism is placing impossible dreams firmly within our grasp. One might draw a similarity to the optimism of President Ronald Reagan in his State of the Union address back in 1982. And I believe that history will remember this as an era of American renewal, remember this administration as an administration of change, and remember this Congress as a Congress of destiny. According to a senior administration official, President Trump will encourage Congress to work with him to continue building an inclusive economy for all, and he will also promote a can-do optimism in the face of prevalent pessimism among his opponents. Outlining the speech are five major topics, which include the blue-collar boom and the strong economy that is lifting up all Americans, the needs of working families, lowering the cost of health care and prescription drugs, immigration and progress on our southern border, and finally, national security. As President Trump prepares to stand before a captive audience, many of whom fought tirelessly to remove him from the podium, perhaps the eternal optimist, as he was known, said it best. The time is now, my fellow Americans, to recapture our destiny, to take it into our own hands. And to do this will take away many of us, or will take many of us working together. From the White House, Jen Pellegrino, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.